What's up guys, my name is Nafe and today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to integrate a crypto payment system on your website. So if you have an online store and you want your customers to be able to pay using crypto, I'm gonna show you guys how exactly you can do that. We're gonna talk about what platform to use and how to integrate it with WordPress, WooCommerce, or any other platform that you wanna use. So yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with adding a crypto payment gateway to your website. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to this website called cryptomus.com. Once you're on this website, you can just create an account. And once your account is created, you can just go to your um, overview, account overview. And here you can see all the funds that you have. Obviously, initially it's gonna be zero and they have a lot of different cryptocurrencies that you can get. Um, and also you can basically receive money in your personal account and send money just like you would in any other platform. So you can just click receive, select your wallet, and then you know select the network and it's gonna give you your wallet address and everything. So uh, that's how you can receive money in this. Similarly, you can send money as well. And also you have your business account, which we're going to be using to basically add a payment gateway. So what we're mainly interested in is this business tab right here. You're going to click this and we can go down to API docs. So once you're on this page, you're going to go down to modules and here you're going to find all the plugins that they have available for different e-commerce stores. So the biggest one they have here is WooCommerce. That's the one that I'm going to be showing you how to integrate with, but they have PrestaShop, they have OpenCart, uh, they have many of these options. They have Magento as well, but yeah, a lot of these famous e-commerce website builders are available here. So uh, you can just select whichever one you want and then you can click uh, download right here so i'm going to click download for woocommerce and then i'm also going to click view tutorial where which is going to show you pretty much all the information that you need to get started with this so so you can just go through this read this or you can just watch this video we're going to be covering pretty much everything that is already in this uh, page so let's actually go ahead and go to wordpress so we can learn how to integrate this all right so we're inside wordpress and here we're going to go down to plugins first and here we can just go ahead and click add plugin if you click that, it's gonna give us an option to upload plugin. So we can click that and then we can just choose the file that we just downloaded from Cryptomus. If you didn't download that, you can just go back and basically in WooCommerce, you can click download right there, okay? So we can just drag this in like that and just click install now. Now for me, I already do have the plugin installed, so I'm gonna click cancel. But for you, it's gonna ask you for a confirmation. If you wanna install it, just click yes and it should be installed. After that, we can just go to install plugins and here you're going to see Cryptomus right there. First of all, you want to click configure right there so we can basically go ahead and add some information that we need. And here it's going to ask you for two main things, basically your API key and your merchant UUID. So for this, for the merchant UUID, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to Cryptomus and in here we can go to our overview again and then go to business again and then we can go to merchants this time. So if you go to merchants, it's going to give you an option to create a new merchant. I already do have one created, which I was testing it with, but I'm just going to go ahead and create a new merchant. I'm just going to call this test two or three. Once you do that, it's going to give you an option for going to setup. And then once you're at this page, you can just go to merchant settings. If you go here, it's going to give you an option to leave a request for um, an API key. Now, this process is moderated, which means that you're going to have to leave a request and they're going to approve it within 24 hours. We can just click leave a request. And here you can just enter a URL of your website. I'm just going to enter this, you know, random auto-generated URL that I had um, and the name of your project as well. So I'm just going to call this test three and then we can click submit. Now, once you do that, it's going to ask for a confirmation. So they just want to confirm that the website is actually yours. So we're going to be using a meta tag. It's pretty simple. All you need to do is basically copy this and go back to WordPress. Uh, and then here, what we're going to do is that we're going to go to appearance. And then inside appearance, we can go down to theme file editor. If you go here, it's going to give us access to the actual HTML code that we can edit. And we're going to have to go to header.php because back in Cryptomus, it says that we need to add this to the head tag of our site's homepage. So Let's go back to WordPress and in the header.php, if you go down to the head tag right here, you can just click enter to go to the next line and just paste what you had copied there. Perfect. So once we have this pasted, we can go down all the way to update file and just click that. After you're done with that, you can just go back to Cryptomus and click check and it should hopefully confirm. Perfect. Right there, you can see it confirmed and then we can click confirm domain. Once that is done, it is basically your project is going to be in moderation, which takes up to 24 hours. Uh, so just give it some time and you're going to get the API key later. But once your merchant is approved, you can go to merchant settings and it's going to show you your API key right there. Copy that and go back to WordPress and let's go back to plugins and Cryptomus configure. Click configure right there. Paste your API key. Obviously, you're going to have to keep the secret and go back and copy your merchant ID as well. And you can paste this in like that. Once you have all this done, you can click save changes. Now, once all that is done, you're pretty much good to go. All you need to do is go to WooCommerce and then down to settings 
and in payments just make sure that cryptomus is enabled it's going to give you an option to enable right there and once it is active it's going to show you that it's active right there perfect so once that is done you can just go to your website and we can go to cart and in your cart if you go down to proceed to checkout and in checkout if you scroll down it should show you an option to pay with cryptomus perfect the image didn't load correctly this time but it should load for you but yeah you can just click this select this and click place order and it should work and you should receive the money inside your uh, merchant account of cryptomus now one important thing that i want to mention here is obviously a lot of people are going to be paying with different currencies so cryptomus also gives you an option to auto convert the currencies for example if a customer pays in bitcoin you can convert that into usdt automatically all you need to do is you need to go down to auto convert right there click manage and here it's going to give you a lot of different options for converting currencies so for example you can turn on BTC to USDC you can just turn that on or if you want to you know select any other uh, conversion you can just turn that on and it will automatically do that and the best part about all of these conversions is that they're completely free there's no conversion commission as you can see right there uh, so all of these are free conversions so yeah that was a quick tutorial on how to integrate a crypto payment gateway into your online store uh, I really hope you guys learned something new I really hope you guys enjoyed as well be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.